After just a few hours, U.S. election bets put on hold by appeals court ruling. Associated Press Just hours after it began, legal betting on the outcome of U.S. Congressional elections has been put on hold by a federal appeals court. The Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit issued an order Thursday night temporarily, freezing the matter until it can consider and rule on the issue. The court acted at about 8.30 p.m. Thursday, mere hours after a federal judge cleared the way for the only bets on American elections t. o. b. legally sanctioned by a U.S. Jurisdiction. Below are your comments. Allowing election bets, even for a short period of time, risks serious harm from people trying to m. manipulate the election for financial purposes. So allowing someone to bet $20 on an election may al. Low people to manipulate the outcome for financial advantage, but betting $50. Instead of worrying about the influence of betting odds on an election that are based on statistics, make it illegal for a candidate to outright lie to influence an election. Find the party a $1 million per lie and use the money to pay down the national debt. Super PACs are legal, but betting on the outcome isn't? Dot. Stop funds, large investment groups, corporations, investors, flippers from buying single-family home. S. People cannot compete with funds. Since 2021, home prices have gone up 100%, because funds, corporations, investors have been buying t. Housens of single-family homes, increasing houses prices, creating inflation, homelessness, houses. Crisis, decreasing houses inventory. Rapidly increasing houses prices is very bad for local economies because it has a negative effect on local businesses and causes inflation. When living expenses, shelter housing cost, go up, businesses need to pay higher wages to compensate for the rent and higher costs of. News. Arizona City to allow workers to sleep in their cars as it grapples with housing costs. This causes businesses to then raise prices to stay profitable. Moreover, the ultimate effect is a decrease in consumers' ability to purchase goods and services. If the situation continues to bubble or it does not improve, it can eventually cause a death spiral. For all businesses. Everything comes down to what the consumer can afford to spend. Without strong consumers, middle class that is shrinking now, you can't have a vibrant economy. Only housing market sector is going to be booming for a while because all the big money will be in T. He housing sector only. The rest of the economy is going to deteriorate with negative returns for all investors. https colon slash slash finance dot yahoo dot com slash news slash outbid dash children dash rfk dash jr dash warns dash one six four zero two nineteen seventy two dot html This shouldn't be allowed. It's another form of election manipulation. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.